What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and you may have seen this in some of my other videos. I'm going to reiterate one more time. There's going to probably be a lot of background noise. Please do your best to ignore it. That's what I've been doing all day. But anyways, I wanted to bring up something very interesting that I found on Reddit the other day, which involves Mega Man. Now, of course he's a character who's unique to Smash Brothers 3DS and Wii U, however, some hacking dude, I don't even know who the hell this guy is, but some some dude managed to hack this dude in <laughs> some dude hacked the dude into Super Oh my fucking god! You see what I mean? Anyways, um he managed to hack the guy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So now this Mega Man model, the, the reason why I wanted to cover this is because this is actually really good. Like, he put a lot of work into making sure that he emulated everything from 3DS and Wii U over to Brawl. So let's take a look at the video real quick so you can see for yourself the level of depth that this guy went to in order to achieve Mega Man in Brawl. It's, it's fucking amazing. And the music is badass as hell too. I never played Mega Man games, so I don't know where the music is from. Don't fucking kill me though, please. Look, he got the taunt for him. Look at that. And he got all the taunts for him so far. Well, not all of them, but most of them. I think, I think he got all of them. He got the dash attack in there. The mega arm. Or the heavy arm, excuse me. That's not bad. You cannot lie, that is not bad. He even got the grab. Everything looks appropriate. The only thing that I would say I don't know, the only thing that I would say didn't really come off too well is the fluidity of Mega Man's animations. I mean, <laughs> animations, that could actually be an applicable word, but animations. Like, for some reason, something feels a little bit off about this guy, but all the moves look like they're honest to the, um, honest to the originals. He has the slider move. I mean, everything seems like it's good here. The up A smash, all in brawl. All modded and hacked in there by a dude. The, the mega upper too, like, come on. That's clean. And the down special, um, excuse me, and the down smash as well too. So I mean, this guy seems like he has Mega Man's full move set in there. Considering that the game only came out, um, well, for 3DS it came out like in October, but still, very impressive progress made for such a for, for such a raw hack. Like it seems like he probably didn't use any background models, or rather, any older models to do this. Maybe he had a Mega Man model that he was working on the whole time, but either way, it's clean, and um, this is very passable for Mega Man in terms of Brawl. It doesn't seem like there's anything that's missing. Except for like when he does the full charge side smash, it doesn't show the huge shot coming out like it does in 3DS and Wii U. Um, he also has the flame sword, forward A. And it looks very passable for this game. The back A as well, I think it's called the, um, the scissor cutter. I don't know what, I, I really don't know. Mega Man doesn't have the scissor cutter in this game, right? That's like the, the chop things. He doesn't have that in this game. It doesn't seem like he has the metal blade either. I didn't really see him use it. He also has the up A, the tornado. Granted, it doesn't look as clean as the... Uh, oh, and the fucking... Oh, shit, and he has the um, the down A as well, too. I don't know the name of all these moves, but I mean... He's pretty damn good. Very impressive stuff, man. Oh, and... He, oh, never mind, he has the metal blade as well, too. It, like... Once again, I gotta give him credit where credit is due. The fact that he managed to get these things in there in the first place and have them working without the game fucking crashing is admirable in itself. And he managed to get the level working as well, too. He has Dr. Wily's castle in the background, which looks pretty clean. In fact, I like the way Dr. Wily's castle looks in Brawl way better than in 3DS and Wii U. It's nighttime, and the, the, the lights look pretty cool, too. It's a nice look. Very nice look. I like the dark patch here. And um, so far, what haven't we seen from this guy? We have, never mind, the Sticky Bomb. Although the Sticky Bomb, I guess it's a little bit harder to replicate the look that it has from 3DS and Wii U. So it's just represented by a white circle in the raw, which still works. I mean, it's probably just going to be a placeholder image. He has the Leaf Shield working as well too, but it doesn't have the same properties. He, I don't think he can throw it in this one. He hasn't mastered that, I guess. I guess it has somewhat of strange frame properties because for it to be a shield blocking everything from you and then to throw it, I guess that would be a little bit hard to code. Never fucking mind! Holy shit, he did it! This dude is a fucking boss! You see why I had to talk to you guys about this? This is very impressive. The, the level of dedication this dude had to replicating his moves is insane. Did he do this from jump? Oh god, okay. The smash ball, I didn't even see this part. I didn't see this part. It looks like a fucking Apple of Eden from Assassin's Creed. Is he really gonna... Is he really gonna have the final... Wait, what? 
Is he really gonna have the final smash with all the... Holy shit. Yo! This dude isn't playing around. Styles, Styles, are you seeing this? Styles, this man is after your heart. Dude fucking had he, for the final smash, I guess it's not going to be as polished, but that's the case with everything with this. But I mean, he still has the old school Mega Man's coming. Wait, 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 So there's two final smashes? There's one where he shoots that purple laser, which puts you into the Mega final smash, and then he has one where his man just comes through and busts the shit out of you. That's what I'm talking about here. This dedication is amazing. I don't think I've seen a character recreation or a hack go this in depth, man. I mean, if, unless you're counting Project M, Roy, and whatnot. But I mean, still, this is amazing, and I will give it a ton of props. Guys, go and check this guy out. I don't know exactly what the details are in terms of his work or where you can go to support him, but this YouTube video will be in the description. The description does say, no, this is just a revamp or a port. KTH and others still have something to do with this PSA. And yes, the wait is over. A true Mega Man PSA with working, non-spammable bullets and blades. Plus, made two new Final Smashes because I really didn't like the version over Ness. The moveset is done, but I want to make alternate costumes, so this will be released before Christmas. Nice little thing to put in your goddamn stocking over your fireplace, if you have one. Um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. That's not me saying to do that. It's this dude's description. But I mean, still, very impressive. I'm just going to call him by his YouTube name, the Cali Kings 01 But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really blown away by this mod. He did a really good job just emulating all those moves. Impeccable work. Could lose a little bit more polishing, but that's like asking, that, that's asking for way too much. You already did a shit ton as it is. You get my props and the props of all my viewers. I know you guys are going to love this video. Um, so what do you think about this? Go and show the original video some love and tell them Etika sent you. I'll talk to you guys in the next one though. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.